I'm going to show you how to take screenshots on your PS5, how to add text to them afterward, how to share them, and how to move them to another device. You can take a screenshot by holding down the create button for a few seconds. That button is located right here. If successful, this little symbol will appear in the top right corner of the screen. If it doesn't work, it's likely because you have changed your create button's default options. If you wish to update those defaults, go to settings, captures and broadcasts, shortcuts for create button, button mapping will be highlighted. If you hit X, it'll allow you to change your default configuration. I prefer standard because it requires a holding down of the create button to take a screenshot, which prevents a lot of accidental screenshots. To see all the screenshots you have taken, the best way to get to them is to go to the media gallery. To get there, select this icon on the top of your home screen. In addition to your screenshots, this will show any video captures you have done. I'll discuss video captures in a future video. If you do have video clips and only want to see screenshots, this icon right here allows you to filter by screenshot. Just go under media type. You will likely see some accidental screenshots in this gallery. If you need to delete some, go under this icon and then just check mark the ones you don't want and delete them. If you want to place text over top of a screenshot, do this. In the media gallery, highlight the screenshot and hit X. You then want to highlight the paintbrush icon on the bottom left. It'll be on the screen when you open the screenshot, but it'll disappear after a few seconds for some reason. Hit X to make it appear for a few seconds again and highlight it and hit X again. Select this symbol here. Type in whatever message you want to add then click done it'll put the text at the top left of the screen you can reposition it by selecting this symbol to change the font select this symbol there's only a few to choose from to change the color use this symbol to enlarge or shrink the text select this symbol if you change your mind on what you want the text to say, go to this symbol. If you do, you'll have to redo some of the formatting that you just did. When you're done, select Save. I recommend you save as a new copy. After that, you can do the process again if you want to add another block of text to the screenshot. Now I will show you how to share the screenshot. Since I just added the text in the previous segment, I already have the screenshot in front of me. If you have backed out of that screen, just go back into the media gallery and select the screenshot. Once again, the little symbol on the bottom left will appear for a few seconds. Hit X to make it reappear and quickly select the first symbol, which shows an arrow. If you want to share on Twitter, select the option right here. I've never shared on Twitter from my PS5, so selecting that prompted a process of connecting my Twitter to the PS5. I then clicked done and it told me it was unavailable. I'm not sure why it said that, but it's now showing as being linked and it let me select that option again to start the sharing process. It prepares a tweet with some hashtags attached to it. If you wanna add text to the tweet, hit down and select the box below and begin typing. You can delete those hashtags if you want, or you can just leave them and type around them. Also by clicking this symbol here, you can replace the screenshot with another or add additional ones to the tweet. When it's ready to be sent, select post, a message will appear showing it's been submitted. In my case, it appeared on Twitter within seconds. Bear in mind that if you share more than one photo at a time, Twitter will shrink the thumbnails, which will make it harder for people to read the text that you put on your screenshot. So you might want to just do one screenshot per tweet. They will be able to read the whole thing if they click on the thumbnail. I will say that these screenshots turned out very nice. They were high quality images. You can also share the screenshots with other PlayStation users, including your friends. Select the screenshot again in the media gallery. Hit X and select the arrow again. Select create group. 
Then put check marks next to the usernames of those you wish to share to. It defaults to showing your friends, but you also have the option to select people you have recently played together with, or you can just do a manual search for any PlayStation user. Once you select who you want, move over and select OK. You can then move down to the box to add text to the message. Hit send. A notification will appear showing that it's been submitted. If you hit the PlayStation button on the controller and go to Game Base, then go to Messages, you can see that the screenshot has been sent. It'll appear as a small thumbnail and they can select it to see the full size image. Now I'll show you how to copy a screenshot to your thumb drive, which will allow you to move it to your PC. Select the screenshot again in the media gallery, hit X, move to the right and select the three dots Select copy to USB drive. Before you move on, insert your USB drive into the PS5. Select copy. It'll create a network of folders on your drive and it'll add the screenshot to it. In my case, it was put into the Killzone Shadowfall folder. There's another PS5 tutorial on the screen in front of you if you wish to watch it. Enjoy your games and have a good day.